Good morning. I know what you want me to say. What? <laughs> you passed your test. You did. You passed your test yesterday, first time. <laughs> she did. First time, three minors. Three minors. So you passed your theory first time. Yep. I'll and then you passed time. your... Did you? Yeah, and test first time. What about you, Frank? Theory fourth time. Uh, so it's better than me, mate. I was two and two. I was two and two. Anyway, we're not. We're not. Sorry, this, this ain't about you this morning. Anyway, fucking get on with your work. Go on. My day. Four. Da oh, four days on the trot. You've made it in. Look, we're out not coming in. I oh, know. Fuck it. That's a, that's a world record, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> so, congratulations to me. I passed yeah. first time. Well done to you. And now. I can come in late when it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good I don't it. need to work above two degrees. That's what normal rookies do. <laughs> I'm a normal rookie, I'm not child cousin. <laughs> Alright, this ain't about fucking digging in at me. But, yes. I've well done that's, you. That's all I need to say. Now, why did you put a video up yesterday? Why? Because my, my GoPro is pretty much fucked. And I've got no... Uh, we're just all getting on with it and... Well, let's uh, show them what you've done. Come on. Show us what. Well, we've literally just gone round all the brickwork. All the brickwork. We've taken round the clockwork, installed all the lintels yesterday, and did a um, couple of arches. Yeah. Uh, so how I done this lift was I I went round and done as much block work as I could first without the lintels, and then I went round and done as much white work, brickwork, as much as I could. Uh, without doing the lintels and then we switched back to grey muck because um, the cell cons are so much easier to lay with that with the grey muck and then we went round done as much block work as we needed to do because we've run we've run out of cell cons we've not got a delivery till Tuesday so um, what are you gonna do tomorrow sorry what are you gonna do tomorrow if... uh, we've got that garage down there to start oh yeah garage down there so is that know. a brickwork garage uh it's exactly the same as the other one we've done um oh. but yeah no uh so yeah we, we're just literally going around today finishing the outside skin of brickwork and we're gonna do some cobbling here cobbling <laughs> we're gonna do some cobbling 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 so cobbling oh. <laughs> uh yeah we're just gonna do some cobbling through this little section here, then we've got some arches to put through the front, through the back here. Um, oh, Frank's just taking on his little bit down here. I, I showed Frank how to do it yesterday, so feel confident on your own today, Francis. Oh, feel alright. Feel alright. Good. Cool. So yeah, just put some cobble. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Right. Let's get a bit cool, on the tree. Cobbling. cobbling. We do a bit of cobbling. <laughs> a bit of cobbling, boy. A bit of cobbling, boy. Very creamy, this muck. Could probably have done with it a bit stiffer, but. Right, tape measure. Hot. I personally, uh, oh. oh. Fucking hot. That was hot, that one. <laughs> like, a, like a hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I mean, I don't use a level for stuff like this. It is. To me, it's just using my eyes. So I'm going to go at 20 mil, and then it will just be me tapping it down. Just coming around this way, coming down to the eye level, because it's the easiest way, I think, to get them level without fucking about with the level. Let me go to the other side of you. Okay. I'll, I'll, what I'll do is, I'll, it's a bit awkward for me to do this, but if, you can just sort of... Oh. It's a wee bit creamy. Sorry. Queen closure. Queen closure. Using my eye. Oh, right, Thomas. 
Out on the piss tomorrow, ain't you? Tonight. Uh, oh, tonight is it? Yeah, it's tonight, isn't it? Out on the old piss, boy. You coming in tomorrow? Yeah? I'm going to take the piss out of you tomorrow. I hope you get really drunk and start throwing up on site. <laughs> no, no, he's going out to watch football. He did ask me to go, but, you know, I'll end up getting too fucking drunk and won't come in tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, she got no excuse to not come in. Oh, uh, shut up. <laughs> I don't like the A12. Uh, What's well, you passed the test, you're good enough to drive now. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Boy, Roy, where's all that talk? I can't do anything about you here. Push card. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. This is some horrible shit. What? Cobbling. No, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good, but it's a nightmare for me because I got a. No. I got a level Easy. of all. Easy peasy. How much are you going out this time? 20 mil again? 20 mil every time. Same as the other one. 20 mils. Uh, Why know. is it only this section that's got cobble? Cobble, because this section is finished. Or is it the same as the other one then? Yeah, basically. Again, I'm just coming down with me eye. Right, I'm trying to get out of the way of the camera, but high works, I work. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that's level? I think it's level. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Put a level yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Shut up, mate. How did you just do that? Well, we that one's actually... Hang on, let me get that one. I could do it just a tap there on that end. There you, go. you reckon? Fuck off, mate. Um, it's the bricks a bit fucking shit, but... How do you do that? <laughs> Who needs a level? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that side. I haven't actually really looked. Oh, there you go, there you go. Shut up. There you go, close enough. <laughs> This is actually a fixed bubble. It's, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> if look, I'll hold it up that way and it's still in the same place. Look. <laughs> That's what we use for the old site agents. <laughs> says, that, that wall ain't level. No, it is. Get me fixed bubble out of the van. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon people do that? <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. But <laughs> honestly, I don't know. If they do, then fucking not very good. How many is it going? One, two, is it three? Is it three for cobble? Three for cobble. Corble. Uh, it's a bit bigger actually. Corble. Careful, you've got to rip these bricks do have a face side, so this this brick, right? See, I don't know how, how well you can see it. See it's curved round that way? Mm-hmm. And that side is a sharp edge. Yeah. Huh? Ah? Just blow on it. Huh? Blow on it. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you notice, when they if you do the sharp edge, you don't get that nice curved finish, which makes it look ten times better. If you if you have someone that's um, putting the sharp edge, if they're not if they're not checking and just chucking them in any old how, and you get like curved edges, curved edges, sharp edges you'll get like uh, a, a non-consistent bed and it looks, in my eyes, terrible if you're looking for a nice finish on the brick anyway. Right, hang on, let's chuck this. Shut up, talking. Stop talking. Do Start it laying. <laughs> Why have you got the big chow out? Why? Because um, I like it. Uh, and to be honest, 
Why ain't it cobbled this side? Why? Yeah. Uh, it's just not. It's just... Why have you done that as well? You can't do a corbel with the arch. Why have I made it bigger? Because I've got a max. Oh that. yeah, because that's yeah. the bit. Bleh. Got you. Um, got your geese. You got me geese. Got ya. you. Got me. Uh, right. The reason I'm using this trowel is because the muck is so light and fluffy that I don't need to use a smaller trowel. The reason I use... Well, this is good for any kind of muck. You can dig it and still not get a sore wrist, can't you, Charlie? Dig it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it's good for pick and dip. My trowel? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect for my wrist as well. Oh. I can hear him say something about me. Cables? What do you mean? Did Charlie blame me for them holes in the gables, Frank? Did Charlie blame me for the holes in the gable? No, I see you doing it. I remember when you... Yeah, see? What, when I filled the holes? I'm not talking about that gable. I'm not talking about that gable. Just remember that to that gable to be a gym done. Yeah. 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 And that's when my um, granddad was uh, going in for a heart surgery, and I was in a hump. Oh. And I knew he was in heart surgery, and I, had a, I was a bit upset. And you two were fucking about, and I lost the plot a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I shouldn't have took it out. I shouldn't have took it out on you boys. I was just a little bit worried about my granddad, and then you two were fucking about. So I fucking flipped. Yeah, no, no, I'm not talking about that. But you, you, you took over the game with me and Jim was doing. Oh right, yeah. And then, like, he's fucking doing a shite job of it. When I went with Josh, he showed me a picture. He was just like, "Who done that?" And I was like, "Well, me and Jim started it." But... It was the bottom that was fucked. Yeah, it's, 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 the reason for being is because I was explaining to Tom like, "Why?" You shit. He's <laughs> You're still learning. No, the, the reason why it was was because the the, uh, the lintels had been put in yeah. and we built up to the lintels. Yeah. Yeah, that's why the shit. Yeah. Oh, dear. Tom, that's, uh, that's all done through there. That can all be tidied. Any spare bricks, full bricks, put, put them in the corner neatly, yeah? Oh, I don't want to go down. Oh, I can't really see from there. Let's have a look. First, so you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have that trouble, would I? Nope. That's a good one. Oh, I can't remember what size it was. Let's have a look. Is that it there? Yeah. 
that weren't was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, shouldn't really cut up here, really. Right, you should. You're gonna cut. You're gonna have a bolster. A little tip for you. See where that scaffold tube is? Yeah. It creates a pressure point. So if you hit it in the middle, it bounces a lot. But if you actually hit it there, centre the cut with the scaffold. Uh, it's not really much room here. Get a nice clean cut. Okay. Okay. All right, bro. All right. I feel like you got a little fringe today. Got a what? A fringe. Fringe? Yeah, I need to get my hair cut. Got the old. Uh... And your beard. Got the old pubic hair, face. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Look beautiful. Copy this cut here. Which one? Um, uh, I'll put. I'll go for this one here. if you cut it over a scaffold too. This is a 13 minute video. Yeah. Well, to be honest, uh, that'll do for the day then. Really? Yeah. It's probably going to be 10 minutes when you edit some bits out. It's all right. Brick. There you go. Shape of the brick. Shape of the brick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Geese. Well, let's start putting this arch former in. And you can see it's just not wanting to sit right. Sitting like that. Miles out. This will be like up here somewhere. So, because the, uh, this is slipping, what I'll do is just. Give him a mark. Yep, just help it stay in place. Don't want any sitting out the back though. Um, I'll do is I'll use this to push it back. That will just get it to stay a bit better. And then still what we have is, I mean, I have got a little bit of muck on the front. So, I mean, already we're a lot closer, but just to get that little bit, because obviously it sits on here dry, so you don't want them tipping. So literally all I'll do is take that back off and get it flat like that. Give it a good flick so it sticks. 
Come on, dog. what we want at the moment. Line that up there, and then we'll stick this level back on and just keep going. Just watch that line. Just, just keep going until we're level. Yep. And then, hey presto. Come on over the top. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. <laughs> so this is how I personally do my cuts over a uh, arch there are a few different ways of doing it but i find this the easiest and i mean some people will mark under the line and some people will mark over but me personally i try to just get just over the line like that i can't really see that sun is shining that's there, right but... and then just over the line like that and then i'll stick me level through Rather than trying to do it with a, oh, yeah, right, so. you've got to be careful because the thickness of the blade can can if you uh, if you cut if you mark under the line and then you cut see the thickness of this line is a couple of mil. Um, oh, that's, so you've got to be careful because if you cut the other side of the line, if you don't allow for the thickness of the blade, if you cut underneath the line, if you draw underneath the line and then you cut the wrong side of the line you've just cut with the thickness of the blade, you can end up with a very small cut with a very big bed. So you've got to be, I, I know that I will have to, I've marked this pencil, which is, I know that the right side of the line of that line is just above that line. So I'll try to make sure that the thickness of the blade, the right hand side of the blade, will catch there and not the left hand side there. Cause then it will just take off about five mil, even more, uh, not five mil, about three mil. So you've got to be very careful. Otherwise you can end up with some shit cuts, looking cuts, if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> nah, come here, look. look. What, what I want to show is this thickness of this blade, look. No, you've got to go straight on, look, straight on. That's it. I've got my tape on me. Let's have a look at the thickness of this blade, see what we've got. It's about three or four mil. So we've got about four mil. And what I'm talking about is if I cut, this is only me, if I cut, um, so that I see that the left side is touching that line. I'm going to end up cutting four mil more this way. And then if I've already cut, if I've marked underneath the line, and then I've, and then I'm going four mil. I'm looking at like six mil too small, which believe me, it can look shite. Um, so I mark above the line, and then make sure that this side of the blade catches this side of the line. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna cut these. Do you wanna go around and get out of the way? Right, let's see if these cuts are any good, shall we? So. Yeah. One. Two. That sun's kind of blocking, I can't really see it. And three. Three. All right. Well done. And then I'll just do the same the other side. And then. So I helped build this, didn't I? You did. I did sure. this, like this section. Yeah, it's good. It's doing well. And now what else did I do? I did this all by myself, didn't I? Oh, yeah. I did the corporal. Go on there, Francis, show us what you've done. You want to see it? Yep. 
sure. Yeah. Well, so first of all, I'll do this. Nice. Francis is header arch. My second one ever. Looks and, lovely. Uh, I can't wait to the other one where I've actually started to get out of this morning. Smashed it? Yeah. Do you reckon about that, Harvey? <laughs> lovely, lovely. What are you done today? Fuck all. Me? Yeah. Clear up. <laughs> 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 yeah, for sure, <laughs> Hello. You're rolling. Mm -hmm. Talking about rolling, let's roll some muck. Right. Let's have a little talk through when I'm doing a corner, shall we? Let's spread this muck out. Of, uh, the first three, I, I checked it for gauge on the third one I'd done because I know roughly how um, uh, I, I know roughly how <laughs> I know roughly how much to push down on these bricks now to get a good to get to gauge. Uh, but when I'm laying this brick, what I'm doing is looking down the arras of the corner. The what? Uh, it's called the arras. Uh, I'm looking down, I'm eyeing it down. So I'm sort of coming over this way a little bit and looking down to the right side. And then I'm coming over this way and eyeing down this side. So it's pretty much put in the right place. You, really, you want to be trying to put them, lay them where they're supposed to be because you don't really want to be hitting it. What I'm doing now is because I've had a level across the top of this, I'm looking at my bed. Make sure I've got a 10 mil bed. Bricks oh. look lovely, son. Yeah, they do, don't they? And then I'll level across the top. And then we're pretty good. It was just the shape of the top of the brick needed to come down and then I stick my level up the side there this way like that yeah sorry yeah just just from the bottom of the slab I am yeah so I'm not gonna plumb this side yet because I want to lay these bricks first so I'll go clean closure clean closure mm. Again, I'm just trying to use my eye to bring it to where I think it should be. But how do you know that it's like to the line? Because here, that brick and that brick aren't together. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean, hang on. So let me just do this first. Oh wait, it's because it's a half. Ignore just going to tap that down like the, oh, what you're about the back? Yeah. <laughs> Way to cut it. So now I've tapped that down. Now I'll put my level and plumb this side. And then I'll just double check. And then I'll range it through that way like that. Again, just lay it. Make a nice decent brick for the corner. You want to make sure this side's good and this side's good. I'll put it down to where I think the 10mm bed is, which is about there. And then I'll eye it down this side and that side. Stick the level across the top. Tap. And I'll plumb this side because I'm not going to be. This is good. I mean, the top's not touching, but the bottom is. That's the shape of the brick. Um, 
And then come around the side. Oh. Around here. Bogies. <laughs> what do you call it, it? Bogies. That's what Harry get, calls it. That's what Harry calls it. Bogies. Get your bogies. Don't forget your bogies, <laughs> Harry. Alright, and we're good. And then I'll just check this side like that. Which is good. And then I'll literally just put it on the top. That's what I think gauge is. Uh, which, let's have a look. So, uh, if you come here, look. Oh. So, 450 is gauge there, look. Yeah. So, we're pretty good, yeah? Yeah. All right, and then I'll literally look at the brick level for this way with my eye. Right there. Right down that way, like that, and that way. I'll stick my level up it, like that. This is a little tap over like that. So we're pretty good. Like that. And then check this side. There's a little tap in. And we're good. Yeah. Alright, and that is basically what was i mean flemish bonds are really hard it's not a hard corner to build but it's you've got to go a lot of bricks out both ways to not get very high so i mean i've gone out one two three four five six bricks that way i know they're half bricks and one two three four five that way on a normal stretch of bond corner that would take you 11 courses high but it's only took me one, two, three, four, five, six courses high. So, you know, but it, this is turning into a plinth. Uh, I think we've got one more course on top of that that turns into a plinth. But <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Frank's building his corner. Uh, how many you gone out there, Frank? Just go out the same as me, so you sort of get the same height and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll do ya. <laughs> 